Arms and body double sit is a really great exercise for rowers across all skill levels. We're going to focus on the movements the trunk makes and the body makes during the stroke cycle. It's great for working on a lot of things, particularly in and away from the release. But the two key elements that we want to get from it are making sure that we correct the stroke sequence during the stroke and also that we set up the correct posture in the boat. The focus here is on the body rock forward and the body swing back during the drive phase and how we make and control these movements. The setup is a really key element to this exercise, so before you get going, have your rowers shuffle back on their seats so they're sitting on their hamstrings and then slowly tilt forward. When they do this, they should be able to tilt forward from their spine but without bending the spine so they're in this position. If they can't do that, either lower the feet or start working on their hamstring flexibility. Once we've got the setup correct, let's move on and practice the body movement. Get the rower just to do some flat blade strikes using the body only like this. The key to this move is making sure that we control it from right down low in the hips as opposed to bending forward from the spine. The best way to think about this is to liken it to a hinge and door system where the hips are going to act as the hinge and the spine is going to act like the door. So all the time we're looking just to change the angle of the hips without bending the spine. Once we've got the setup and the movement correct, we can move on to the exercise. All we're going to do is add an arms and body air swing onto the end of the stroke like this. Throughout this exercise, it's important that we maintain focus on creating the right movements during the stroke. So making sure we keep that spine nice and straight and we shift the body angle from the hips and we don't bend the back. A good way to encourage this feeling in the row is to have them sit at the release with a nice long neck and nice long spine and stretch their hamstrings as they come forward. So it's a nice long neck, nice long spine, sit tall and stretch the hamstrings forward. And again, stretching the hamstrings forward. Another good feeling to generate during this phase of the stroke is to have the rower feel like they're shifting their weight from the back of the seat to the front of the seat. Once they get a little bit stronger with this movement, you can start to make it a little bit more powerful and a little bit more aggressive. A really good movement to make here on the recovery is just as they rock over, have them feel like they're kicking their hips out towards the bow. And again, a real kick out to the bow, and that's going to set up their spine at a nice strong angle. Throughout the exercise, make sure you sit on your hamstrings to promote good posture. Make sure we control our tilt forward by changing the angle of the hips and not by bending the spine. And making sure we keep the movement strong, positive and aggressive all the way through the exercise. So that's arms and body double set. A great way for working on sequence away from the release and also a really good way of working on posture throughout the stroke.